I'm Eric Lang, and this is Xander's Guide to the Masters at Augusta National. All right, so here with Xander Shoffley, we're going to get your guide to the majors. Let's talk about Augusta. So you played it how many times now? Five times, four okay. or five times now. So a total of like 25 rounds. Ballpark. What makes it unique the more that you see it? Versus what I knew of it prior was just the slopes. The slope on the, you know, the whole property is, is on such a dramatic slope from Clubhouse to Rays Creek. It literally drops as much as Niagara Falls drops. Tee shot wise, mm -hmm. like what is your ideal tee shot at Augusta? Just the most frequented one is probably a fade. Yeah. It's weird because everyone talks about the need to hook the ball on property, but most of the time you actually hit a fade. Like one, you have to hit a fade. Two's a draw, obviously. Yeah. But three's a fade. Four can be a fade. Seven's a fade. Eight's a fade. But then when you come into greens is is where it gets tricky. Augusta's a second shot golf course, so it's all about placing your ball on the green because the greens are so difficult. You have to be so good at your second shot on property. 10 and 13 are different tee shots to everything else. How do you feel on those tee boxes? What are you thinking? Oh man, well 10, the wind is typically left to right off the tee. So you're trying to hit like a snap hook off the tee basically. Okay. You're so elevated and once your ball gets around this corner, you imagine like even if, if you're hitting this nice big old sling, as soon as it kind of hits this wall, it's like elevated and you get smoked by the wind and then your ball just gets hung up on the right and it just doesn't come down. Okay. And so are you just thinking as much inside and as much close as possible? Uh, yeah. If you use this tree as a reference, it would kind of be, you got this orange, you just got to, so you have this like yellow flag that's just right of the tree. It'd be kind of like that. You need to start it like just at this yellow flag and then hug it, which is basically, it's really close to the tree. Or you can kind of start it way further right, almost over this putting green um, and hit this big old sweep. So yeah, my feel is just very, very inside to out. Okay. I mean, just get the thing, get your hands working. Um, and really get this thing hooking. So, I mean. That's the right shape. I'm obviously not warmed up, so that ball wasn't going super far, but like that would work there. Yeah. Because it would just like, as soon as you get this kind of like toey ball yeah. that's tumbling and turning, it hits that hill and it just goes all the way down there. And then it's like you hit eight iron or seven iron in instead of like a three iron. Right. So quick question, uh, uh, the developers for the game have put like a tremendous amount of detail into the slope of the greens and the whole golf course in general. Okay. Uh, and some caddies have talked about potentially using the game to help green reading. Do you have any thoughts on that? Augusta is a special place because we're, there's no tool or device or level that we're allowed to use on property. They have all the books and they have all the notes oh, and everything on it, but no one, no player has actually seen those books. So it's like a property that's never been mapped, which is kind of like the awe and the tradition of Augusta as well. It okay. adds to it. So of all the changes that are gonna be new for this year, what are you kind of the most interested in? Just seeing the flow of the course, 15. You're way above and you're trying to hit like a three wood in, yeah. into and have it stop on a 15 yard surface basically. And yeah. you don't know where the wind's coming from. From that perspective, it makes it really difficult. You right. know, things need to really go your way for you to hold that green. At Augusta specifically, what is like the trickiest shot that you're trying to master? Everyone talks about 12. 12 is just like, a, it's just, it's just because of the wind. Right. If there's no wind, it's just an nine iron or like a wedge or nine iron or eight iron. You know what I mean? But like the wind is so mean there. It swirls and it's so mean because it's such a small area that you're trying to hit into. A lot of it's how you flight the ball as well. But I'd say like people keep talking about how scary that hole is. And yeah, it's scary. I don't know if it's because people talk about it. <laughs> yeah. And if you keep telling yourself how scary the hole is, then maybe everyone will believe it. But it's pretty scary. Yeah. So your preferred shot on 12, you're thinking is... Tip it, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. So, I mean, if it's like a nine or eight iron, I got an eight iron, I'll just grab. You kind of favor a knockdown for me. It's sort of like an abbreviated finish. I don't, you know, if I'm swinging just normally, kind of finish up to the top and the ball will typically launch up higher and I'll get more speed on it. For a knockdown, it's gonna be more, you know, take a normal swing, but then kind of stop through. It, it's just like an easy way to bring the flight down. Okay. So, I mean, so I'll hit a little knockdown shot here. Um, actually, I'll just hit one normal, more normal here. So, so if that's normal, kind of like a little bit higher, kind of see the flight on it. And the difference you can see, we have a little bit of wind actually, which is kind of helpful. So now knock down, maybe a hair further back, but I'm gonna kind of abbreviate this fish and you should see a difference in how the ball comes out of it. Yeah, so you can see it's a much flatter window. 
Yeah. And you kind of have to like pick and choose your spots because if the wind switches or like goes across and you hit like a little flatter missile like that, I mean, it'll literally go in the back bushes. Yeah. Which I've done there as well. Favorite master's memory. I got to do my like practice round and my caddy and I went out there and it was, it was 40 degrees and it was hailing. And I still played, I played all 18 holes. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it was the worst weather I've ever golfed in, but we like, we just, I was like, I'm here. Like I, I've yeah. been looking forward to this my entire life. Yeah, it was awesome. Cool. Play the Masters at Augusta National only in EA Sports PGA Tour.